Hey child, and welcome back to my channel. Another day, another celebrity has a hair product line, but this time it's not just any celebrity. Oh no, oh no. This celebrity is legendary when it comes to the hair game, and her name is Kim Kimball. If you're not familiar with Miss Kimball, look up your favorite A-list celebrity who happens to be black, and I promise you, she has touched their hair. So my expectations of this is much, much different than a random actress who just threw something on the market. Boom! This is a styler from the Kim Kimball line. It says Kim Kimball hair majesty stylist to the stars. This Kimball hair care product that I am holding is the curly pudding cream. It's supposed to keep your curls looking and feeling luscious. It adds shine, moisture, and bounce. Free of sulfates, parabens, and phthalates. And honey, it came with a pretty little picture of her. So, of course, the thing that we care about most is honey. Does it work? We're getting ready to find out. Now, let's get into a little bit of details as far as the cost. This jar is 16 fluid ounces of product, and it costs me 17 American dollars. I think that's pretty reasonable, but I don't know your bank account. You decide for yourself. I checked the ingredients. I didn't see anything that ends in own, so I'm assuming it's silicone free, but do your Googles and find out for yourself. So I have high expectations of this because when it comes to black hair, this woman right here, she's, she's pretty high up on the list of voices to trust. So I'm going to go ahead and prep my hair off camera, come back and let's get to styling. Boom. Hey child. back and by we i mean me and samantha if you're new here honey it's a running joke on my channel we got this big old shower cap collectively named us samantha samantha pretty much runs this channel just sit down pop a squat and say hi to it like everybody else hello all right shout what in the world see this is what happened when i try to rush samantha out of video she starts showing out all right, so I prep my hair by detangling it and the leave-ins that I have on is a mixture of Texture ID spray leave-in and Allocate Naturals Lemongrass leave-in. I wanted something really lightweight so that it wouldn't really interact with the ability of this pudding to really style my hair. But as far as the directions go, it says after washing and conditioning, saturate the hair with the coconut milk and avocado leave-in conditioner pause i didn't buy that because again 17 dollars and i didn't want to buy a whole line and not be in love with it so i said let's tiptoe into the kimball hair care business by just getting this one product and then maybe we'll go back for the rest of the line continue section hair while wet then apply the curly pudding cream from roots to ends re-wet hair as often as necessary during the styling process i can dig it so let's get into the packaging oh she real secure honey it's not heavily fragranced at all. It has a scent to it. It smells like body lotion to me. It's like, it's not overbearing. It's hard to explain, but it's not like funking up my whole room. I'll just put it in there. The consistency, I don't know why when it said curly pudding cream, I was thinking it was going to look different than that, but it really is kind of like a pudding and a cream. All right. So let's start with this section of hair. And I'm going to take this much of the pudding which it seems like a lot but again it's a cream styler so i really want to apply it heavily to see how my hair responds so i'm just put this on this whole section actually let me make this section smaller so i'm gonna just take some more rub it together in my hands and apply it to this section rub that in there really good it feels very very lightweight on my hair like the way i said it smell like body lotion it feels like that on my hair too Okay. I'm gonna have to twist my hair. It is a very lightweight formula, and for my hair type, I would not be doing a wash and go with this. I just, I wouldn't, um, because I feel like this would lead to frizz for me. So what I am going to do, I wish this behaved like a gel, my goodness. Um, so what I'm gonna do is apply this heavily. As far as how it feels on my hair, first of all, it feels very lightweight, like I said, but it also feels extremely moisturizing. But at the same time, it's kind of just sitting on top of my hair. It's not really penetrating. I don't know if you can see it, but if you look, you can just see it sitting on my hair. Mm, okay, let's get into it. Flat twist. And let's get to flat twisting goodness and i said i was not doing a flat twist no time soon that i didn't want to do any twist outs but look at me 
Look at me. A labor of love for your entertainment. Okay. And down to the bottom. Okay. All right. My hair feels extremely juicy. Now, I will say that. It feels very juicy on my hair. I just wish it had more of an elongation to it or that it had some type of a hold. But let's get into this growth though because honey, mother wasn't able to do no flat twist earlier like a few months ago. So <laughs> that's what happened when you have a healthy routine. All right, let's go ahead and twist that. Let me go ahead and uh, finish applying my twist, come back and then I'll show you what I'm looking like. And we're back and my hair has been set. So the way I structured my hair is this patch of hair is a flat twist. This is a flat twist. This right here is a flat twist. And in the back, I just did regular twists only because mother's hair is short and I don't have time to be wrestling with my hair. So my thoughts as it is, is I can feel the moisture and the slip on this is incredible. But at the same time, something about this makes my hair feel very, very coated. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's the amount that I use, if I use too much, but I feel like there's a coating on top of my hair. It's, it feels really weird. I don't know how to describe it. So I'm going to actually get under a hooded dryer until my hair is dry. And then I'm going to come down and unravel the twist with you to determine if I really, really love this is when I take it down, am I going to end up with frizz? And am I gonna end up with flakes? That is important to me. So let me get under the dryer and kind of gather my thoughts because again, something about the consistency of this is really just kind of different. It just feels weird. I don't know how to explain it. Honey, let me dry my hair and mother will be back. Bye-bye. Hello there, darling. So it's the next day, my hair is dry. Let's go ahead and take these twists down and see what they're talking about. So I'm gonna put some oil on my hands to kind of prevent frizz. Um, so here's the thing when I was putting it on, it felt extremely moisturizing, but I was like, I don't feel like this has any type of hold to it. Um, and from the one twist I looked down, I feel like I was right, but let me take down the rest. Okay, so I took down another twist and in taking it down, I definitely see some frizz. Um, the hold on this is extremely soft. Let me come back and show you the final result. I'll be back. Okay, so I took down my hair. My results are here. Let's talk about it. So I will say that the moisture level on this is great. If you like clean ingredients, meaning you don't want silicones, this will meet your criteria. Um, the hold on it is soft. Now it is a cream pudding or pudding cream. So I'm not expecting a firm hold like a gel, but I do want to say that it is soft. Um, if you want something with a little bit more hold, you can always add a mousse or a gel to it. Um, just make sure it's a good combination that won't cause flaking. So that is my opinion on the hold. Do I like it? I like it as a product, but I'm not in love with it for my hair. Only because my hair leans towards, even though it's curly, it has some kink to it. So I like things with a little bit more of a firmer hold. Now I could, like I said, put a mousse or a gel with this to get the hold that I like, which is not a problem for me. However, there was a little bit of a buildup feeling on my hands when I was applying the product and when I was taking it down. Now, again, I don't know if it's because I use too much or if it's the formula itself, but I did feel somewhat of a residue. When I finished taking down my hair and you know had some oil on my fingers, the residue feeling went away, but there was a little bit of a grimy feeling at first when I first started manipulating my hair. I did not get flaking, so that's a good thing. So overall, if you like soft hold, this is for you. If you like clean ingredients, this is for you. Um, but if you want somewhat of a firmer hold, look elsewhere. Overall, um, yeah, that's that's pretty much what I have to say. Soft hold, super moisturizing, but I did get a little bit of a buildup. Like even when I do like right this, I can feel like it's something coming off of my hands from this product. So that's all I have to say about this. Let me show you the back and I'm going to get y'all out of here, saints. And voila, 
that's it if you have any questions leave them down below me love you a long time my feet died out and i'm out of here